Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to create a Pokemon app um, using Flutter. So I'm going to give you a demo first and then we will dive into the coding part. So the app basically looks like this. It's a very simple app. It just shows you a list of some common Pokemons. Um, you have a title bar on the top and then you have a scrolling um, widget which should displays um, the image name the type of pokemon obviously this is also the same type and then you can mark the pokemon as favorite so if you click on this this is your favorite pokemon if you click again it will then deselect the pokemon that is uh, that was selected as your favorite pokemon so like this, um, you can create a simple Flutter UI uh, app for Pokemon. Um, let's get started. So the main purpose of creating this app is um, to see how we can parse a JSON file, right? So I will have a JSON, JSON file uh, containing Pokemon. I will create a new folder here called assets. And this will have, um, a file called pokemon.json right um, i'm going to copy paste everything um, from my repository so i ha i will be pasting the link in the description so here i have pokemon pokemons and then name image category weight height abilities right um, i think i will try to display abilities here uh, i just displayed um, category for both right okay anyways moving forward i would need some images so i will drag and drop some images let me go here and paste okay all the images are pasted now i'll go to my uh, pub spec.yml file um here i need to give my assets i can actually give it here one dot png i will need to give that for each and every file five so it will be one, two, three, four, five. And the last one for my JSON file, which is Pokemon dot JSON, right? So our assets have been um, imported in our app. Now, in order to parse uh, this JSON file, I basically like to create a model file so i'll create a package called models and here i will create a new file called pokemon dot dot so this will basically have um, i will need to import package flutter material dot dot and this will be class pokemon um, this is required because once I um, load the JSON file into my code, I will be storing it into a model object. Uh, it will be an array of Pokemon and they will have some attributes which will be uh, name. So all the attributes will match here. Name, image, category, weight, abilities, right? So I'll quickly create those. I'm creating a flag uh, is my favorite by default its value will be false so the is my favorite will toggle between whenever you click on this heart so that's why I have one more um, class variable in this case
now i will create a a factory method which will basically help us to convert this json file so whichever json file we will um, import it will basically map everything um, to our pokemon object the class object um, so i will need json Cool. Um, here it will be JSON. cool so our model class is ready so now we can directly jump on to our main dot dart and we will start our coding part so i am going to remove everything from here uh, my app um, so let's remove my app i'll directly call run constant so let's remove this run app material app home will be our home page my home page you can say and then debug show environment as false okay uh, let me remove all of these as well I like to create everything from scratch. Now we have class home page extends state full widget const home page super key. override underscore home page state read json so here i will be reading my json file uh, which will be string response and it's going to be a asynchronous method because it will fetch the file um, wherever it's present um, it's inside assets pop sorry okay so the data is ready now you see how i created 
a member variable for my home page state class so this variable we need to set a state to it so we just do set state and here my value for pokemon um, list will be data pokemons and then i will do a map so the data if you see the json file the, this is the whole data which will be fetched so here i have a pokemon key this key is an array of pokemon right so here i will need to map over it i get the data and for each data value uh, oops sorry each data value i do uh, pokemon dot from why it's not showing pokemon dot from json and then data dot to list correct uh, this should be it uh, pokemon data i think here this bracket will come and then it's done uh, i think i need to import this library okay once i import it um, it's done so now this is the read json method that i created inside my home state page um, what i can do here is um, i will need to override a method which is uh, void in its state it basically initializes does everything during the initialization like whenever my uh, app loads this is the first thing that gets called so here i will do uh, oops here i will call this method why because um, as soon as my app loads i need to um, call this read method so it will populate my pokemon list variable and then i can iterate over this variable to display this list form right and we will be creating this ui as well i mean this is not doing any functionality right now uh, adding any functionality right now but just for the aesthetic per perspective we are adding it in our app so override oops. Okay, in the scaffold, uh, I will have an app bar, which is app bar. So this part, I'll be copying everything uh, because the app bar is just the basic thing that we already know. Let's actually run this app right now and see how it looks. Um, we should only see the top menu right now because I am not displaying anything um, from the Pokemon perspective. So I'll run this app Flutter. Let me check my directory. Okay, we are at the correct spot. Flutter. Run. No. Sound. Null. So it's launching um, in the meantime let's go over the logic so in the body part i will be creating a method so i will be creating a small component so this component each component is like a container so i will be creating that container um, and then once that container is created uh, we will just iterate over that uh, this pokemon list right so what what is happening here is i have a json file i call the init method inside the init method i call the read json and then here the json file is um, being loaded decoded and stored in data now i iterate over data dot pokemons and i just create a new pokemon object so it's become easier now i have a array of pokemon right i can just do dot on image name name category weight to display everything inside my app and that's the purpose of it okay 
okay the app is running and we should we should we see the app bar okay now i will create a body uh, i am not going to code it here so i have created a pokemon component um this component um i will be let me do, uh, this pokemon component i will be uh, creating a method for that uh, let's see yeah so let me create that here um, i will be uh, pasting everything here again for the pokemon component so pokemon component is basically taking a parameter pokemon which is like when we iterate over um, the list item builder um, this is the list view builder so list view takes an array right so we have an array and then pokemon component is just displaying everything um, we need to make few changes here which is this should be abilities abilities right and then let's refresh it and see how our app looks awesome so we see our app is created this is a list view we have each pokemon with the name um, this is the category the skill and you can click and click the favorite okay the main purpose of this app was to show you how we can pass a json file easily in flutter hope you guys like me, like my video if so please subscribe to my channel Give me a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. Thanks everyone.